Hey guys, today we'll see how to read input from the keyboard using Java. Let's get started. So we will read integer, double, string, and character from keyboard. And for this purpose, we need scanner class that is available in Java. So let's get started. Create a new project, Java project. Let's call it demo1. Right click on that, new class, let's call it demo class, public static void main. All right, so first of all, we need to import a class java.util.scanner. So this scanner class has certain functions, methods that we are going to use to read a value from the keyboard. Okay, so let's go to the main. And here I want to read two integer values and I want to add them. Let's call num1, initialize it with zero and and num2 also initialize it with zero. So I have two values and now I want to get data from uh, the keyboard. Uh, then let's say in num1 we get 10, then num2 we get 20. We will add them up and we will display the uh, total. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to create object of scanner class this scanner class and we can call it in or we can call it input, whatever you give a name, keyboard, anything that you want to read from keyboard. I'm just putting in new scanner. So this is the syntax. You need to memorize this one, system.n. All right. So, so this is the object n that is going to help us to read from the keyboard. So first of all, we need to pop, give a pop-up message to the user that what should he do? Whenever you're going to use scanner, always give this message to the user, otherwise user does not know what to do. All right, so system.out.print. Here, let's give a message. Enter a number. Okay, this is the message. Now we want to read this message. For example, let's, <clears throat> so this is here. Now if I type something 10, it doesn't receive that one I'm typing, but it doesn't receive. So we need to receive that from keyboard using this N. Okay, now we have already one variable called num1. Okay, so num1 assign in dot. Here is the built in method. If I just type dot, we can see here next int. So I can type that next int. So this is going to read integer value. Okay, so same thing. If I run this one now. Now I key in 10, now it receives that. Okay, although it does nothing, but on this line it receives this 10. So I need to get another value so that I can put it in num2 and then get a total of it. So I can copy paste these two things, enter another number. Okay, this time it goes to num2. So when I get num1 and num2, I can print a message system.out dot print ln okay. total is equal to this is concatenation as you know in java num1 plus num2 all right we are all set enter a number 10 enter another number 20 
total is this one, okay? <clears throat> 10 plus 20. So why it's happening? This is, uh, we need to be careful. So now, because on this side is string and the other side system is also taking as string. So let's be careful and let's put it parenthesis. Okay, let's put 10 and 20. Now it's 30. Okay, so I hope you will get this point. And next one, we want to get that uh, double value. So let's change them. Double and uh, 0, 0.0. double num is also uh, 0, 0.0. So this time we are going to get double value. So we need to just change this one, next int to next double, next double. So nothing is, else is changed, okay. So 10.50 and 20.50. So total is this one got the idea, all right. So let's continue and let's do with a uh, string this time, okay? Because uh, it's string, so let's, we should not give num as the uh, variable name. So we'll get like first name and last name, let's call it f name. And in the beginning it's empty, okay? And another string, L name, which is last name, and always give this, uh, whenever you are going to read something from the keyboard, I always give, initialize it with some value, like we have this empty, okay? So now uh, we are going to read that, enter your first name. This time it's not, we're not going to read double and our, variables are also changed. So first name here. So I must put that first name. This is not double. What is that? It is next, just next. Next will read one word, but okay. Uh, but we will see if we want to read more words. Same thing here, it should be just next. And here is LM, okay. And this time is no total right? So we need to show our first name and last name, right? So in this case, we can just say your full name, okay? Is F name and L name. All right. So enter your first name, John, Peter is, the, is ah, okay, I must change this one. Enter your first name, enter your uh, last name. Okay, save it, run it. Okay, John, Peter. All right, so it's here. All right, uh, you can play around with this one if you want to put space, so you need to put space here. For example, you want to add some space here, so like that, okay? <clears throat> All right, again, John and Peter. All right, here we go, we have space now. So we have seen now uh, uh, integer, double, and string. Now we want to read one character, one character. So for this one is char, let's say CH1, okay. And because it's character, we should not put double quotes. We should put space, single quote, okay. And uh, another one, CH2, it's also single quote. Uh, notice if I just, if I don't give space, so it gives me error, invalid character constant. So we should put some value here and value is space. Now this time I want to uh, get two characters, enter uh, a first character. 
All right. And this time is CH1. Now we don't have next char. Like remember, we have next int, next double, but we don't have next char method in Java. So what we do is we say, okay, uh, read the whole word that was like John, but then pick up its J only. So how to do that? We continue with this one and we, I put again a dot and here you see char at, and if I click there and get rid of this zero. Okay, so it means, okay, no problem. You can, user can key in John, but we are going to get char at zero get the character at zero location, which is J, and discard OHN. All right, so I can retype char at, as simple as that. Same thing, I can copy this, okay, and put it here. This is char two now, and same thing. So enter your uh, second character. All right, so we are getting that. This time we can give another message. Uh, your uh, uh, two characters equal to, we can say CH1 and CH2. All right. Uh, first character, for example, I put John again. Okay, and then here I type Peter. Now you see JP is picked up.